Hello and welcome to the third issue of the FractalForums.com news. The annual petition has ended and I provide you with some valuable statistics about the contest. The entry count uh, reached an all-time high of 199 entries to vote for. The number of entries um, are developing quite well compared to 175 in 2011 and 130 in 2010 with just 50 entries in the first competition 2008. This year 69 contestants competed for their winning image printed on a coffee cup, which is a reasonable amount compared to 57 in 2011 and 42 contestants in 2010. A low point was reached in 2009 where just 15 people competed for the coffee cup. Participation of users also reached an all-time high, with nearly 2,150 given votes, making an average of 10 votes per image. The higher ranked entries got up to 30 votes. And finally, the average rating increases, with an average rating of 3.5 this year, indicating a good overall quality of the entries. So, take your time and review them if you haven't done it already. Today we have a special guest, um, the entity in its physical form, who is going to announce his own show with a commentary of the competition 2012 and proclamation of the winners. And I make space for the entity, please come over. And <coughs> Greetings. And salutations. I am happy to be invited by you, Christian, and I'm here to show you my nice world of fractals to explore. And as you all know, and Christian just told, um, the competition is over, and I've prepared a nice show um, dedicated for the announcement of the winners. And I will just tease it now. Uh, we're showing you the three best placed images of each entry. And I start with uh, the film section, where we have entries by user Afi, the one who has rendered uh, an amazing lots of stuff. And he all did it on a GPU and used his own um, uh, scripting tools for creating amazing um, music synchronized uh, paths. We have Truman Brown who entered uh, SpongeBob Square Paths. And last but not least, Taurus um, contributed to the contest with Follow Me, a um, really scary and slow moving animation that is really great. And uh, in the animation part, we have User Vega who did a real cool hat trick. Thumbs up for that, Yuda Vega, and uh, he did some smiles, uh, the Eye of Providence, and he did a nice waving flag um, that is really awesome to watch, and uh, I won't tell which image made it on the first place. Please watch my own show, I will prepare the next few hours for you, and we have the Wild Style competition where Caligula with his melancholy towers created a really uh, melancholy situation and atmosphere that really made something with me and I was so melancholy when watching the image and uh, oh my god and uh, user Kraftwerk, the well-known Swedish artist um, uh, created Aztec City after the rain and um, I really uh, searched my umbrella when watching that image and uh, Laugonerbs from Romania, I believe, made a nice advertisement uh, for the Infinity Set, a nice spark and uh, spoon and uh, knife that is, yes, it looks like a, like a nice set up to eat with and uh, I just went to the kitchen and tried to find something to eat and uh, it was amazing and thank you for letting me in your show Christian uh, it was a pleasure to announce my own show and that's it see you in my show yeah.
here we are again and um, we have to inform you about um, an expo exploration expedition that we took outside in the Pampas of Argentina and we started a deep lake exploration and we found some nice life forms over there using very advanced submarine technologies to explore the, the deepest known areas of the lakes in the Pampas. And we found some new life forms that we want to share with you. We have this jellyfish swimming in front of our lenses. And we have as well this... I don't know well, how, what is it. And additionally we have seen this thing. And all this has been done by user Kali from the forums, who published his dynamically real-time animating GPU fractal script uh, to be used with the program Fragmentarium, an integrated development environment for creating GPU real-time fractals. And we have to inform you about the multi-wave coloring um, system that has been published by user Powderbrot um, and it is very suitable for to be used as coloring algorithm for coloring deep um, zoomed Mandelbrot um, and it is it works by layering waves of different frequencies to generate new colors color sets on very deep zoomed images exhibiting extraordinary detail on such scales and that's it for today uh, this oh we have some breaking news and um, the forums is searching for the holy grail the real 3d mandelbrot as usual many attempts failed uh, so there's no news on this field the holy grail has been delayed again but well perhaps it is worth mentioning that the um, higgs boson has been found the missing link of the standard model and it has been announced to be found by the CERN Institute in Switzerland this week. This week, uh, I don't see, I can't see any indication on how this brings us uh, closer to finding the real 3D Mandelbrot. But we keep you informed about the search of the Holy Grail. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.